what it's BJ and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be all about mobility and flexibility. So let's go ahead. Let's just start on the floor, on our mat, and let's just take that good deep breath in and exhale. One more time. Deep breath in and exhale. We're going to sit in our good 90-90 position. We're going to take that top arm up. We're going to lean it over that side, getting that good stretch all the way down our shoulder, down our ribs, to our hip. We'll take that deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to lean it out, lengthen from our fingertips all the way to our toes. Inhale, bring it back up. We lean it over and extend. Once again, inhale, we reach. Stretching through that waist, through that spine. One more time, inhale. Exhale, and we lengthen one more time. We bring it back to that 90-90 position. Let's go ahead. Let's switch those legs over to the other side. Let's take that deep breath in. We reach it over. Exhale and lengthen. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lengthen. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, extend. And let's bring it back to that 90-90 position. And let's use some of those alternating 90-90s. So we're just gonna switch and switch. Working on that mobility through the hips. Just lubing up the hip joint side to side. Let's go two more. Two and one. From here, let's bring it all the way into our plank. Let's lower it down and let's go into our baby cobra. Deep breath in, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Hold it here, shoulders down into that spine. Let's sit it back, hips to heels. Get that good stretch all the way through the fingertips, all the way to the tailbone. From here, let's bring it onto our knees. Let's bring that right knee out first and let's just lunge it forward. Stretching through that back hip. Let's take that good deep breath and reach it up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring our hands on each side of that front foot. Tuck that back toe. Lengthen into our high lunge. If you're a little bit less flexible, remember, you can always grab your yoga blocks and you can use them to help you with that range of motion until you're able to get that flexibility all the way to the ground. So I'm gonna keep my blocks here and we're gonna take that right hand, put it to the inside of that right foot we're gonna to turn to the side and we're gonna go into our good side triangle, low triangle position. Once again, stretching through the hips on both sides. Lengthen through that arm. If this stretch is a little bit too much, go ahead. Bring that elbow up onto the knee and just work on pressing down through those hips. If you're a little bit more flexible, go ahead. Keep that hand down. Take that good deep breath in. We're gonna go ahead. 
Take it back into that high lunge position, hands on each side of our foot. From here, we're gonna bring it all the way up into that tall lunge position, warrior position. Nice and tall through that chest, pressing back into that back foot. And as we inhale, let's bring it all the way up to the center. If you wanna switch your blocks, go ahead, switch those blocks over, because guess what? We get to take it all the way over to that other side in that tall lunge position. Stretching through that back leg, through the right hip, on that right side. From here, we'll bring that left foot, our left hand to the inside of that left foot. Take it into our side triangle. Once again, if you need to come up onto that elbow on the knee, do what feels best for your body where you're at. Really sinking down into those hips. Let's take one more good deep breath in here. As we exhale, let's bring it back to that high lunge position. We're really gonna press back into that back heel as we bring it up into that warrior position. Take that good deep breath and sink into those legs a little bit lower. And as we inhale, let's bring it all the way back to the center. And let's go into our hip openers. Let's reach it up towards that ceiling, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring it down into that garden pose. So, if you like that flexibility, once again, bring that block in front and use it as a prop until you can work it all the way down, opening up those hips. And while we're here, let's just kind of take it side to side. Rock through those hips. We just want to open everything up, lengthen those muscles, work out those kinks. From here, let's drop that left hand down and let's bring that right arm up. Really opening up through the chest, through those hips, getting that good stretch through the spine. Let's bring that right hand down, left arm up and we twist. Taking those good deep breaths in and out. Just kind of really becoming aware of our body, where we're tight, where we might need to spend a little bit extra time, a little bit of extra focus. Gaining that flexibility, gaining that mobility. Let's go ahead, bring both hands down, bring them back up to prayer pose. We're gonna stand it all the way up. Take that really good deep breath in once again. And exhale. Let's go ahead, let's move back down onto the floor. Let's move our blocks. And we're just gonna take it into a couple cat and cow. Take that good deep breath in. As we exhale, tuck that tailbone under, round through that spine. Inhale, as we reach the hips back, open up the chest. Shoulder blades down towards our, our rib cage. Once again. Exhale, round it all up. Inhale and lengthen. One more time, exhale, round it up. Inhale and lengthen. Let's bring it back to that tabletop. We're gonna take it into that high lunge position. Once again, bring that left foot forward. And let's stretch it through. Bring both hands down. Extend that back leg. This time we're gonna turn into our leg. So we're gonna bring that left arm up. Twisting through that spine, opening up our chest. 
sinking down into those hips. And you'll really start to feel it through that right hip in front, through those hip flexors on that right leg. Let's bring that left hand down. Let's take that left foot, bring it through, and let's take it all the way into our pigeon stretch. And let's just hold it here, lengthening through that back leg, stretching through the glutes on that left side. From here, if you can, let's walk it down onto those forearms, keeping that good flat back. We really wanna make sure that we're not caving in through those shoulders. Keep everything nice and long from the tip of our head all the way to the tips of our toes. If you can, let's go ahead, let's extend those arms all the way out there, lengthen fingertips, the toe tips. Taking that good deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring it all the way up. If you're a beginner and this is as far as you can go, fantastic, I want you to hold here. More advanced, if you wanna add in that quad stretch, go ahead, let's bring that foot up to our backside and let's just stretch it on in. So we're multitasking, stretching through the inner thighs, through the glutes and that front leg, and then adding in the quad on that back leg. Let's just hold it here. Once again, we're just really lengthening all those muscles that tend to get really tight because we sit so much throughout the day. So let's hold it here for one more good deep breath in. Exhale, we'll lengthen through that back leg. Let's press through those arms. Bring it into our plank position. From here, we're gonna kind of sit back and we're gonna bring that right foot back between those hands. Just like we did on that left side, we're gonna lift that right arm up towards the ceiling, opening up through the chest, twisting through that spine, sinking down through those hips, really getting a good stretch through the front of that left leg. Remembering to breathe, deep breath in, and exhale. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale to bring that right hand back down. And we're gonna take that right foot, drop it through. And let's take it into that good pigeon stretch. Stretching through the glutes on that right side, stretching through those inner thighs on that right side as well. From here, if you wanna go ahead, lengthen the stretch, bring it down to those forearms, keeping that good flat back. We really wanna remember, stretching should never hurt. We just wanna take it into that good, comfortable position. We're lengthening those muscles, but never to the point of pain. I know it's tempting. You see people that are really, really flexible, like, oh, I should do this, but it hurts. All you're doing is causing those muscles to be tighter, 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 to have to guard against any type of injury. So just go through the range of motion that your body can go through right now. And then with time, as it becomes more flexible, as it becomes more mobile, then we can take it into a little bit bigger range of motion. From here, if you can, lengthen those arms. I'll get that good stretch, fingertips, all the way to our toe tips. Deep breath in and exhale. Focusing on your breathing, focusing on that stretch. From here, we'll bring those hands back in. We'll sit up nice and tall. Beginners, we stay here, more advanced. You can bring that heel up to our glutes, stretch out the quads on that left side. Just multitasking. Now 
Let's take one more good deep breath in. Exhale, we'll extend that back leg. Press through those arms nice and strong. Tuck the toe, bring it back into our plank. And let's lower down into our plank all the way through into our full upward dog position. We'll sit about hips to heels. We'll lengthen all the way down again, up into that upward dog. Let's tuck those toes, press through those shoulders, lengthen through the calves, through the hamstrings, open up through those shoulders. From here, we'll bend those knees. We're gonna do that little hop up towards our feet and we're gonna bring it all the way down into our seated position and then we're gonna lower all the way down. We're gonna take those hands down by our side. We're gonna walk those knees in and we're gonna let those knees just drop out to the side, stretching through those adductors, through those inner thighs, opening up the hips. Let's just take the hands on our belly and let's just take those good deep breaths in and out. And exhale. Really trying to lengthen that breath. Four seconds in. Hold it for four. And we exhale for four. Once again, deep breath in, four seconds. Hold it for four. And exhale. One more time, lengthening that breath, deep breath in. Hold it. Exhale for four. Let's go ahead, let's take it into some butterflies. We're gonna bring the knees in, let them drop out. Bring them in, drop them down. In and out. Once again, just working that mobility, working that movement through the hip joint. Keeping that neutral spine, head is nice and neutral. Let's go two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And let's go ahead, bring those knees into our chest. And let's just do a little rock side to side, giving our low back a little bit of a massage. Go ahead, bring those feet back down. We're gonna bring our arm up and over. We're gonna lean it over to our side. We're gonna bring it all the way back up. We're gonna take one more good deep breath in. And exhale, and you are done. An amazing way to get the body moving, working that mobility, working our flexibility, and just bringing everything back into ourselves, focusing on how our body is moving. So, as always, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's quick mobility and flexibility workout. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Remember, it's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. So until next time, peace.